Hi my YouTube family this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion welcome to Home Garden and Fashion today I will share with you how you can create beautiful necklace in your t-shirt so this is I have done a little bit this is I created a beautiful necklace uh, on my t-shirt so you can create beautiful beautiful necklace designs on your t-shirt or any kind of shirts and this is very easy and cost very little but if you go outside to buy a t-shirt like this it will cost a lot so you can make your own so let me go over the supplies you need you need a t-shirt and you need uh, contrasting color um, rhinestone these are rhinestone so uh, depends on how big package I got uh, this is uh, I got a multi-color package which wasn't too much um, you can buy it at uh, your local craft store be sure to use their coupon because that helps a lot uh, all the craft stores they give out coupons on Sunday newspaper so what you need is rhinestones like this i'm using this blue ones which is contrasting color with the black you can use any color you want i'm using this blue ones and you need this glitter dimensional fabric paint as i mentioned before this is paint slash glue and you can use regular glue as well or hot glue uh, you can use the fabric glue so this this paint if you wash it in washer dryer your rhinestone or the sequins they will not come out they will not melt or anything so this paint is washer dryer safe that's why i use this one this is little bit expensive but it comes in a big bottle uh, and then be sure to use store coupons to buy this and then you can use it for many of your project and um, it doesn't get finished so quickly and if you if you want a beautiful trim like this is gold trim then you add a little bit more da dot drop a little bit bigger dot but if you want to sew just the rhinestone like this then you put a little dot and then you press it down but if you put a tiny little dot and uh, the rhinestone might come out later so i rather put a little bit big dot and then i use my rhinestone and i use this tool an empty paint container to push it down so that way it goes inside and you have a nice gold trim or if you have a silver paint then you have silver trim and it looks nice at the same time your rhinestone your design your work is secure it will not come out in washing and drying so um, I have done three lines just follow along a pattern and do it I have done three lines and I kept the fourth one just to show you so what you need to do is usually you keep the neckline as your base to follow the design and then you just I here I skipped six so one two three four five six from the seventh I started again my second line same thing over here and then over the third line I have skipped four and I have skipped four lines on this side four and then I did that and now in the fifth line I am going to see how many rhinestone I have left so I have about five of them left so I will again skip about three or four and then I will add these five so first you put them and see how it looks and see over here I can skip I can skip three so I can skip three and do it so this is how this is gonna be so first you put all your rhinestone and see what kind of design you want to make how it looks and then you add it adding with this is the final step so you look first how it looks uh, you play around with it and then at the end you add with, with this and once you are done with your project then you let this fabric with the decoration sit still for three hours straight three hours solid 
then your uh, the rhinestone and the paint all settles and then it will not get washed up but I will still wash it by hand and hang it I would not throw it in washer and dryer even though they are safe I have done um, many jeans and I put them in washer and dryer they came out real good but I would prefer hand washing and hanging you know just to you do so much hard work you just want to keep it nice anyway so I'm going to put these five and then show you how I did it. So we we'll, we we'll leave three and then we start here. So what you need to do in case while doing this you make a mistake. While this project is wet, you get a wet paper towel and wipe it off. And when you wipe it off, wipe like this on the entire fabric. So the fabric will be glittery a little bit, but it will not look bad. And so you have to wipe it off while the whole project is wet if you make a mistake do not wait so here I am giving little bit generous amount because I want a nice gold trim and I want this um, uh, rhinestone to stay there forever so and this is how you press it down so it's becoming like your necklace a, a jewelry with beautiful gold trim so that's why I thought this project looks so nice I would just share with you now this is put it like this and use your tool to press it down real good but press such a way in the center that you have a nice circle edging all around and that looks like jewelry this looks exactly like necklace on your neck and this doesn't cost much if you use coupon cost is very little make sure you use Sunday coupons so I have two more left hope it's enough or I am going to have to get another package. I, my package was multicolored, so I have several different colors. Now be sure to subscribe because if you do subscribe, then as soon as I make uh, different different videos, you get um, in your inbox. Now I'm going to be doing many 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 more videos about this t-shirt decoration, jeans decoration, lenga, choli, salwar, kurta and making many purses now see this one is done and we have three left this side three left this side and now so let me go over this again you have yourself a t-shirt any color of your choice and then you have contrasting rhinestone and then you buy glitter dimensional fabric paint or fabric glue whatever you prefer now if you have this one you have a nice gold trimming in the edges and which will look like actual jewelry and then you have yourself an empty paint container i'm using just the tip as a tool to push it down now so here the first line you do follow along the neckline don't put it on top of the neckline just go at the edge of the neckline and follow and take your time you know put each dot and see how the first line i did i use very little of this because i wanted to see the rhinestone then the second dot i did the second line second line i put a little bit more dots a little bit more of this glitter paint so then i saw this beautiful trim coming out and which really looks like jewelry so i decided to do just like that because it makes it look more like a necklace so then the second one if you want it to look like more like sandalier necklace you leave uh, about six six five or six so I left six of these six of these side and then I continue again and then the third row I left four so as you're going down 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 you leave less 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 like here six here four and here actually um, I left three because here six here four here three now if you have more rhinestone you want to do here so you leave one and then you do it then 
you can leave two and just add the all the way at the end one so that will make like a real necklace uh, still it looks like very beautiful necklace but i could continue with maybe two more lines and completely make it but then i have to get one more packages of rhinestones so i would just leave it at this because this really looks pretty and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll be making many 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 more beautiful t-shirt decorations with rhinestone mirror beads and and actually i'm planning i'm kind of like um, still thinking in my head i do the uh, decoration thinking in my head and then i put it down in the t-shirt and when it looks good i just share with you and uh, you are more than welcome to do all kinds of different variation and post it uh, on my Facebook fan page. Please do go to my Facebook fan page. I will leave the link and you go and post it there. All the different variations you make. I'll be really glad if you can make it with different different variations and then like my facebook fan page and also follow me on twitter and you can post it there the different variations you make and i'll be doing many many more uh, sandalier designs with this rhinestone and then i'm planning in my head to do long long rhinestone long beads and then again follow with this so once i do the design in my head then i will just put it down in the t-shirt and i will share with you thank you so much have a great day don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye I see you with my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.